The race for Texas Attorney General this year started with an incumbent who's under a criminal indictment. And a Democrat with an uphill battle in a state that hasn't seen a Democrat in statewide office since the mid-1990s. But just ahead of this election day, this race picked up steam. Attack ads are flying, and here's KXAN's Wes Rappaport with a closer look. I think mine, mine could be close. Attorney General Ken Paxton has been relatively quiet on the campaign trail until now. We just defended voter ID. We just defended redistricting, which we're about to go back through. We would have a Democratic AG who would not only not defend, but more likely would be attacking Governor Abbott and the legislature. Just hours before Election Day, Paxton bashed his challenger's approach on a Lubbock radio show. He won't defend the laws. And look, we've got redistricting coming up. It couldn't be more important. Gerrymandering corrupts democracy. I caught up with Democratic nominee Justin Nelson, campaigning in the Austin neighborhood where three congressional districts converge. Right behind me is another district. Three blocks the other way is yet another. And what it does is it disenfranchises people. It makes people not feel part of the community. And it's wrong, and it's designed solely to further partisan interests over the state or the country. Nelson has been on the attack. If Ken Paxton can't follow the law, how can he enforce it? Paxton responded with two ads in the last two weeks. Extreme liberal Justin Nelson is running false ads to hide his own radical agenda. And a direct message to voters. You're going to see the Democratic AG suing President Trump uh, over and over and being part of that democratic uh, process of trying to un you know, undo things that President Trump's doing. We need to restore integrity in our offices to fight corruption, to make sure that we have independent voices. They differ on just about everything, including immigration and abortion. Now it's up to you to decide the state's top cop. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. As the League of Women Voters points out, the Attorney General makes decisions that directly impact the lives of Texans. The AG's office helps secure child support, is in charge of the Crime Victims Compensation Fund and Open Records Division, and oversees state peace officers who investigate election violations, public corruption, and human trafficking.